Rabbinical myth tells that we the Karaites throughout history and still today take everything in Tanakh literally. And since we follow Tanakh alone, their assumption has always been that we take everything literally no matter what. We are speaking about tzitzit, the fringes that is spoken of in the Torah itself. A well-known rabbinical myth states that we the Karaites have hung and still do hang our tzitzit, the fringes, on the wall instead of wearing them. These are the fringes, the tzitzit. This is simply untrue. I have my own pair under my shirt. This is an extra pair right here. But this is the assumption that we hang them on the wall. And why do they assume this and have assumed this? Numbers chapter 15, verse 39. It says, And you will see them, see them. Imagine if this was hung on the wall. They're saying, And you will see them. We take it literally and look at the wall like this. And just look. We see them. And you will see them. And remember all the mitzvot of Yehoah. The rabbis assume that the Karaites take this verse as well as the rest, literally all the time. And since a person can see the seat seat or the fringes that are hanging, there is no need to wear them. And there was no need to wear them in the past. There are two problems with this rabbinical assumption. The first is that we, the Karaites, do not take the Tanakh literally all the time. Okay? That is not true at all. We do not take everything literally all the time. But rather require that every single, that's right, every single interpretation must be based and stand up by true study and careful study of the entire Hebrew Scriptures in context, and stands up to the same objective scrutiny regardless of its source. It must be studied in context and carefully. That's the Karite motto. Study the scriptures well and do not rely on anyone else's interpretation, but study the scriptures well. That means to study hard and study carefully. And that's what we do. The entire Tanakh. The second problem is that the rabbinical myth interprets Numbers chapter 15, 39 out of context. While taking something out of context is typical for rabbinical interpretation, it is unacceptable to the Karite whatsoever. A closer look at the passage in Numbers chapter 15, verses 37 through 41 shows that the command of the seat seat apply only to clothing as the passage specifically states again context 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 and they will make for themselves seat seats on the corners of their garments that's in numbers chapter 15 verse 38 the biblical hebrew word for garments is beged beged in hebrew it relates to something that is worn as clothing, and therefore it is absurd to assume that we would read this and then believe that you have to just hang it on your wall. It's ridiculous. Furthermore, Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 12 specifically states that the seat seats are to be put on the four corners of your clothing which you cover yourselves with. The motivation for this misunderstanding is quite interesting. Why would the rabbi slander the Karite seat seat practice? The answer truly is that the Torah commands that every four cornered garment have the seat seat fringes, strings attached to it, and among those strings must be a strand of blue, Tehilid. This is in Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. While we the Karaites faithfully have carried out this practice, and still today, by placing the blue in the seat seat as written in the Torah, the Rabbinites ignored this commandment by using only the white fringes. Now, some Orthodox Jews do practice putting the blue to Helid on the seat seat today, but this is well known in Talmudic interpretation. 
that they have not required the blue, the, the dye does not exist anymore, and there's a lot of controversy behind that. But the majority have never done that. After the tradition began, they stopped using the seat seat with the blue because they claimed that the, the dye for the blue was no longer in existence. But apparently, I was told that today, some still wear the blue. So whatever the case may be, the point being is that this is still told today. The rabbinite reason for abandoning the commandment to place the blue string on the seat seat in general sense, meaning all of them, the dye needed for the blue has been lost, like I mentioned. However, Karaites point out that the Torah does not state which dye must be used to create the blue strings. Any dye that produces the color blue that is clean is sufficient. The strings of the seat seat are to be tied into a chain-like knot placed on the corners, the four corners of your garment. So see the chain-like braiding of the seat seat? That's the point. This is commanded in Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 12, which states, Chains, gedilim. You find this also in 1 Kings chapter 7, verse 17. You shall make for yourself on the four corners of your clothing with which you cover yourselves with the chain-like knots can be made in any number of ways. Do not have to be made in the rabbinical fashion. Today's Karaites make the knots in a slightly different way than the rabbinites. The important thing, most important, is that they have the appearance of links in a chain. Gedilim in Hebrew and that they include at least one blue strand within them. The word seat seat itself literally means a braid or a plate, as in the verse, and took me by a plate of my head or a lock of my head. Thus, the design of the seat seat must be that of a braid or a chain or a plate of hair, which is the same design as the links in a chain. I hope this was helpful. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this presentation. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope you'll do so. Shalom, my brothers and sisters. Thank you.